So I feel like myself mm. and many of my contemporaries are are so equally influenced by your work. How I, old are you? I, I by am, the way, uh, this could turn into a co-interview. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know very much about it. Absolutely. You. Yeah. I know a little bit, but I don't know the background. Yeah, sure. So if I, if and I apologize because your audience no, probably it's, knows this, so yeah. it's, it's redundant for them. No, it's all, it's all great. It's but cool. I might just yeah. be curious because I all, have my own show. Please, <laughs> please ask away. Um, that is totally fine. But I am, I'm 32, by the way, 33. Okay. Oh, yeah. right. So we're about 10 years apart. Yeah. I'm 42. So I would say, well, basically, people who were in college at the time that Tim and Eric, awesome show, great job, came right. out. Because that's when I discovered you guys. And for me, I remember, the, and I think a lot of people do, remember the exact moment when they saw your show, almost really? like uh, on 9-11, almost in a weird, it's like, wow, it was that <laughs> it was formative. That bad? Yeah, it was that formative. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> so tell me about that. Um, I was in college, 3 a.m., playing World of Warcraft in a little shithole apartment by myself. And uh, I just was had Adult Swim on. It was like some anime. And then on came Tim and Eric. Not Tom Goes to the Mayor. No. The awesome show. Uh, awesome came, came, on came Awesome Show. And it was just the editing, the colors, the sketches, the surrealism. Were you a fan of, were you a comedy fan before that? Yes. Were you, li- you liked what? Like what would you have been? Well, Arrested I, I love, I love Seinfeld, Seinfeld to be frank. Sure. I love Seinfeld. That's always been my, my mm-hmm. favorite. Mm-hmm. I loved comedy, but I wasn't so much, you know, and deep. Right. But mm-hmm. I'll tell you, when I saw that, and I was, like, mind-blown, because I, I didn't know that you could kind of be funny in that way. Mm-hmm. And it was done in a way that I was, like, accessible to me in a way. It seemed like you could maybe do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it well, was... Seinfeld didn't feel I can never away. do that. Yeah. I can never, ever do that. Still right. feels so far away. Yeah. yeah. Although, do you notice now, if you watch it on Hulu... It it feels like it feels like a set now. It feels it, yeah, like the way notice. they stretched it or the way they've made right. it like a. Four, I think the three, problem is that all of our TVs nice. are so good. Clear. Yeah, that you, you see, can see see like the true. cheapness, yeah. like yeah. them walking down that street. You're like, oh, right. it's a backlog. That's just too much yeah. detail now. But yeah. anyway, great. you like Seinfeld? You a fan? Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> it's great. I could watch that every night. Yeah, it's probably crazy. So good. Um, so basically. When I saw that, yeah. I knew in a way that I was like, oh, man, I would love to work in comedy. All of a you're, sudden, that crystallized. You this video game, and you did like a... What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put down the video game, and I told all my friends about it, too. I will say I was, I was, your, I was your messenger. <laughs> now, I was, I was what uh, people Paul always Revere. tell me is, they say, I was such a fan of you guys. All my friends hated it. No, Is all my friends loved it. Okay. Everyone. <laughs> I would funny. always find that where people were like. It's a little backhanded. All my, yeah, it's like, I like, don't need to hear right. that. You that liked it. Leave it there. Oh, people us. love to tell <laughs> me like these backhanded things. Like, I loved your show, but my boyfriend, he, he hated it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I don't I don't need to know those. That, that is true. It, I get, it happens get to us a lot. They go, oh. my, uh, my friend's a huge fan of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Tell me about you. Come on. Um, about those times, that, that was the time <laughs> mm-hmm. around when we met, and I was in Israel. Yes. And Ethan was here, and um, we were talking over Skype like every day, and he would always try to send me your guys' sketches, and it wouldn't work in it's Israel. Block, block. And we were always that like, I want to see it. I want to see what you're talking about. Like, you couldn't stop talking Ooh, about nice. it. It was forbidden fruit. <laughs> it was forbidden fruit, and I think we downloaded a bunch of them. Yeah. I apologize for that. I believe they were oh, pirated, fun, but I was <laughs> spreading the word. You don't care. You're <laughs> bit torrenting everything. Yeah. At that time, that was, yes. Yeah, that I was, was the pirate. Common at but that time. I brought it to Israel, and I remember sitting down your sister, and being like, you got to watch this Brownie Mountain shit. <laughs> you know? And she she liked it. Everyone was loving it. So I'm not one of those guys. But I, anyway, to the question that yeah, I have. Yeah, the question is. That, is. <laughs> is that, uh, first of all, you probably hear that a lot from people that you have influenced their comedy. Do you, How do you accept that level of praise? I mean, do you, do you accept that? Do you, uh, do you, do you know I'm what I mean? Not really. I mean, I, first of all, I think when when we talk about our work, um, I I... It is. It is not just me. It is. It's Eric. It's John Kreisel. Right. It's Doug Lusenhop. It's mm-hmm. their whole. It's a collective of people that made that what it was. Um, so I. I'm okay. It's not. I don't. I'm not too. Uh, you know, narcissistic about it. That I'm so. This is all me. I'm a part of it. Um, but yeah, I, we had made. We. Uh, so much of that uh, period was making stuff. In such an insular way, in such mm-hmm. a uh, 
uh, for ourselves, mm. that whether people dug it or not was kind of not as important to us, right. you know? And we prided ourselves on that, that we mm. were not doing anything for fans. We were not fan friendly. Um, right. Not that we, I mean, we, we, we were very nice to our fans, I think. And, um, but we weren't trying to please anyone but ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, it's cool to have, cause I had that, I had, um, the kids in the hall, we were talking mm -hmm. before the show that I, like something like the kids in the hall right. were totally, uh, inf influential to me and, and mm -hmm. like, you know, Saturday night live and all mm -hmm. those. And then you get to meet those people sometimes in life and you get to share that with them. And mm -hmm. it's nice. It's definitely nice. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Yeah. And I'm glad that those people are out there. I'm glad you're, it, you know, usually results in kind of decent people too. Mm -hmm. or interesting. People <laughs> I think so. But I, I, I think it's interesting what you said about that you guys were making it for yourselves because I definitely think that shows that you almost didn't care about how accessible it was mm -hmm. to anyone that wasn't like initiated or I don't know how to say it, but definitely yeah. part of what was special about it too. I think in a sense that it was very much your own, just really your guys' own thing. Yeah, we had our a strong uh, sense of what we thought was funny mm -hmm. and we felt like we were delivering to each other that. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, we were making ourselves laugh mm. and and the the stakes were so low. I mean, we were on in the middle of the night <laughs> and we were given very little money right. relatively to make something. Right. And uh, so it just seemed like we were most of the time learning on the on the job mm. and making stuff. And if you especially in the first season, you see stuff that was shot like in the hallways and mm -hmm. like out in front of the office. That was all like probably a lot of that was like making a first pass at something and it not working and mm. then going like, well, let's just go outside mm -hmm. and shoot something, you know? Mm. So we were given just tremendous uh, f kind of freedom to experiment mm -hmm. and figure it out. What time did it originally air on Adult Swim? It was uh, like, it's like 12.30 yeah. or something like that, 12.15 maybe. It was like really fun to tell your parents that you have <laughs> a, you know, I have, I'm on TV right. at 12.15 yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. on something called Adult Swim, which is... In, was which new is at all, the time, wasn't it? Relatively? It was a couple years, yeah, it had yeah. been around for a few years, but yeah. no, nobody nobody still knows what... <laughs> kind still, of, right. I mean, yeah, it's like... Well, Rick and Morty I saw your show of... on Comedy Central, like... Oh, they don't even they know don't the know. network they saw. It. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. And it's still like people. the The funny thing this year has been um, this free real estate meme. Oh, we wanted to ask you about that. <laughs> that what happened? I that? don't know. I mean, it comes out of nowhere. Yeah, right. It comes out of the the Reddit <laughs> internet. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't have any connection to the work really, to the original piece mm -hmm. or to who I am or anything. And so I had this little part in the Ant-Man movie mm -hmm. and people on the internet are like, hey, did you know the guy from the free real estate meme? <laughs> I <is> in <laughs> yeah, know what it is. You know, it's like. That's so funny. And then people get mad about that. <laughs> and so it's a weird thing. And then it's happened to Eric with the universe thing. And, mm, you know, it, right. it's like. That's true. Um, it's, <laughs> how, does that make, how does that feel almost to be like. It's like appreciating a piece without knowing the origin. Does that bother you at all? Um, it does a little bit. I think it certainly does. But the, also there's a re resignation to not having any control over that. So yeah. it's become yours. You yeah. know, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> kind of cool, too, on the other hand. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, I saw a f fucking free real estate mural somewhere. <laughs> and it's just... I love that sketch. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. and like I remember writing it and like... It being such a simple, stupid idea, knowing that you didn't have to do very much to make it work. And I want to ask you but, about that specific sketch because I'm I always wonder like where where's your guys' minds when you Oh we're high. I mean we just get super <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, no. You guys no, no, right. no, no. I feel like Well you that's could. always the No, that, I that's would, always I the didn't, assumption. I didn't assume that. I, I genuinely yeah. think you can't be that creative when you're No. Not like that. No. I don't remember specifically that idea where your head with it's, that it's really probably comes down to it's free real estate let's do a commercial where we're real you know probably seeing a, a late night some corny some, real yeah some real yeah. estate commercial yeah. and yeah. making that little mm -hmm. turn and then knowing that we could just go in front of a green screen for a half <laughs> hour <laughs> right. and we would give it to our boys and they would turn it into as so, doug would say we give them you know, give him some shit to shine. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it feels like sometimes? Because I feel like our style is similar to yours, obviously, uh -huh. being inspired mm -hmm. from you. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times we'll go, 
just fuck around in front of a camera, mm-hmm. and then it's like, I have no idea if that mm-hmm. was any good or yeah. not, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna sit and edit it for a thousand years, and yeah. that'll work out, hopefully. Yeah, I think there we've gotten more efficient with that, I think, mm. and our, also our style or our interest in what we want to make has changed a little bit, so mm. there's some stuff we've done that's more conceived and thought out and planned, and then that becomes pretty much what you intended it like to be. Like bedtime stories. Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah, it's just like fully a... Fully planned out. Yeah, really. it's like not that different than the script. Mm. Um, and great things happen in the edit, but... Um, but then, yeah, there are certain lots of great moments from Awesome Show that were just like, I don't know, fucking put on some crazy wig and, you know, march around mm. and we'll figure something out. Right. A, few, a, little, a few of those moments for mm. sure.